I want to pivot now to a different workflow uh, that a lot of you will be interested in, and that is tiling. Um, so how do we take um, multiple images um, that are adjacent to each other and then stitch them together to have a larger image of a bigger region? Um, so to do that, we're going to engage this tiles option, which will open up this additional menu in which we can uh, mark tiled regions that we want to acquire. Now, the first thing you need to do uh, when you look at this uh, is make sure that there are no pre-existing tile regions, single positions, or position arrays here. Now, there shouldn't be, but um, just make sure that that's the case, because if not, the stage can go flying off uh, and try and image something in a, in a different position. Uh, just a brief comment, uh, I've switched for this part uh, of the video back to our 20x and I've fiddled a little bit with the settings uh, just to get something uh, reasonable uh, for imaging and what follows. So you can see um, I have um, settings that allow us to see the actin quite well. All right, so how do, we, how do we do tiling? So, so tiling, uh, this software is extremely flexible and there are many different ways uh, of doing uh, uh, tiling. Uh, I'll start basic and then I'll work up uh, in complexity. So the first step, um, you know, we need to have all our settings ready to go. Um, and once we have everything ready, we're going to open this tiles and then click where it says show viewer. And in show viewer, uh, we have a number of different modes. Uh, there's a preview mode, which will just generate a, a quick image here. There are modes that allow us to create um, different uh, tiles in different ways. And then there are modes that allow us to uh, allow us to add positions, so individual locations in different ways. And these can all be combined. Um, so in the in the tiles uh, options, we have, uh, this first option allows us to add tiles uh, by adding a grid of a certain size. Uh, then we have this one, uh, which allows us to draw shapes that we want to acquire as a tile. Uh, we have um, this option, which allows us to create a tile based on positions uh, and then create the sort of the smallest rectangle or the smallest irregular shape that includes those positions. And then we have this option, which allows us to um, do tiling based on a certain sample carrier, and that's typically a, a multi-well plate. Um, if you are going to use multi-well plates, please speak to me because uh, we can't use just any multi-well plate. They have to have a cover slip uh, glass bottom and they have to have, be a certain configuration to work. So if that's something you're interested, just talk to me. I'm not gonna discuss it in the context of this training. So let's go back here to the very simplest tile design, um, which is based on adding um, a certain grid. And so these are the dimensions of the grid. Um, and this just says that the, the tile regions are defined by the center anchor position. So if I click here, what it does is the microscope adds a tile uh, region that's three by three center on our current position. You can see that has been added here as well. If we click on start experiment, it will simply tile those locations with whatever is um, checked here. So you can see we now have a tiled three by three um, area which corresponds to this region. Um, one thing that's important to note is that this um, has been uh, acquired and uh, kind of joined together, but it hasn't been stitched together, which is why you can, if you look closely, you can see some of the seams. You can see there's there's clearly an edge there. So things align quite well, but not perfectly. Uh, and if you look closely, you may be able to see a seam um, in other parts of the sample. So uh, here's another one. It's very subtle. I don't, I don't know that you'll be able to tell uh, watching this video, but... Um, so, so this 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 uh, image, if we want to correct for those seams and sort of blend it together, we will need to stitch it. Um, so to stitch it, we would need to go to processing, and we can select stitching from recently used if it's there. We can also search for the stitching uh, command, 
Um, if we double click on that, it'll bring up the parameters for the stitching workflow. Um, you can see that there are two options, in place or new output. In place will overwrite this file. New output will create a new one. Um, we want to fuse tiles that will join them together. Um, here we're using as our reference the red channel. Um, you typically want to use as a reference the channel that has most structure and is um, uh, kind of higher signal to noise. So for example, in this case, the DAPI would be a bad choice uh, because if you look at the DAPI, you can see it's sort of scattered around. So there may not be a nucleus between, a good nucleus between all the seams. So that's not going to be a, a good option. Whereas the 488, that's everywhere. It's very structured. So that, that's probably a good reference. And the five, 594 should also work well. Um, I'm just going to use the 488. Um, we can use the defaults here. Um, and then it automatically selects this image as the one on which we're going to stitch. If we hit apply, it'll stitch it together. So now where there were seams here, if we zoom in, you can see that seam there. If we look closely at the stitched version of this, um, so over here, you can see that seam is gone. So there's a very clear artifact there, which is gone as a result of the stitching. Okay, so that's how you take a very simple tiling, um, just three by three, um, and stitch it together.